tell you, if I have to, if I have to watch another jungler though with no strategy, no game plan, and then have to duel somebody with combat summoners, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Because the games, the games have been so wild, that it just feels like if I'm not, if I'm not ahead, I'm just completely behind on four lanes or four rolls. I didn't have a mid win con. I didn't have a jungle win con. I didn't have a bot lane win con. I had no win cons. And then I was facing a guy with ignite. Even though, even though in that game, that was the first thing I did was, was set up an invade with my prio. If I had gotten the, if I had gotten the kill on Ramus, we would have won too. If I was able to get the kill. If all your games were like that, you wouldn't be stuck in... It, basically, I wouldn't smurf past low elo with main champs. This is like Lucian, dude. Challenger player gold in gold should be win con enough. I mean, yeah, if I was challenger on Lucian, sure. Also, if matchmaking was legit even when you had high win rate. Because right now I'm getting poor matches because of my win rate. Which is assuming that I'm just like giga stomping on every champ. If this dodges, I'll probably just have to come back and try again tomorrow. Or try again after the first coaching. I don't think I need biscuits in the jungle. So here's my theory. This is game four of Lucian. So I tried top. It felt like I could not get any anything going in top lane with Lucian. So I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to try jungle Lucian. And this is chill niece and we are chilling. We're really chilling if we're playing Lucian jungle. The idea here is that because every top lane game has felt like I haven't been able to snowball. I'm going to try a different technique to snowball, which is basically just play jungle, do a three camp and get on the map. And see if I can't get anything done that way. camp into top or mid gank Try to get some early pressure on. It's more functional than anything my Zinzao did in that game.
He leveled up. Gotta push this in or I get stuck. I'm not gonna do that to my GP. It's actually pretty depressing how big the jungle roll is in the game though. Like just this open, even though I'm playing Lucian jungle, it's already way more functional because like I'm filling in the role properly and actually responding to stuff that's happening on the map. Kong's here or not, but should be good. that this is this effective. At least I proved my point though. The opens already way smoother. Jungle just has too much power. free double kill am i am i tripping did did i run away from anything in that fight he didn't ping all until it was on my head did i miss something here 
I, I'm confused. Jesus Christ. Oof. Oof. Big win. Yeah, range tops are just so jungle dependent, man. It's it's kind of crazy. If nobody wants to use what you offer, you just look dumb. You just look like an idiot. Also, jungle's just so impactful. I think I'm just going to get rotated on here for free, yeah. Oh no, maybe not. They're going pretty deep. Wow. Wow, Fiddle said fuck balling. Fiddle said fuck balling. I'm done with it. Nice. 
Good job. That's a good pick by Fiddle though, or at least a good idea. I ganked this Aatrox like a billion times by the way. Should be opening with E. Echo should live in theory. Is this guy are you serious oh my god he's hitting tower or rotating oh and they type like they're doing the right plays it's so cringe that's so funny It's like he's got Mobies and is getting out rotated by a fiddle. He's literally autoing tower for like two damage instead of rotating. We're going to try to get ripped if we can. Objective. I, I kind of want to just go for this. Oh, hello. There's an Aatrox here. guys. So I know what you're thinking right now. Nice, why is this working? Well, it shouldn't be. But the reason it's working is mainly because this is gonna sound really bad. But the average jungler, no one wants to play jungle because everyone blames them. But it's also, everyone blames them. But there's also like kind of the reality that the role has a lot of agency and can fuck with the other rolls really hard. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. I'm going up here. Seems too good to be true. 
guess I'll just... I don't really know what else to do here other than push. I'll just get enough gold for Essence Reaver and reset it. It also could just be variance in general of teams. I mean, you could just have bad teams a few games in a row. That could just happen also. Dumped it on. here. Nice. next strange place beat the hell out of the shadow isles though we we'll get third dragon See how no one pings in solo queue?
Are we going to get out of the Lucian hellhole here? Then I've got to get the coaching. I'm already late. Free and hip here. I think I'll take a reset now and get ready for drag. I'm starting to get a handle on how these mechanics work. Finally. proved the point that sometimes junglers really are not that good and maybe if i was better at lucian and and lucian top in general i might have been able to salvage a couple of those games but man did it feel a heck of a lot more agency driven when i could actually like open up on on jungle also we just had a good mid too so like my gank got value because once i put once i put echo ahead it was pretty much over that guy just started carrying also their comp like I don't know, their combo wasn't even that bad. Honestly. Um, I think they just got outplayed. Not bad, not bad. Um, and I just want to say, uh, this is kind of my point, is that, you know, learning new champions is hard, and there's a lot of variables in the game. So, yeah, you kind of have to assess it honestly. It's like, I think I could have won the first and second game. I don't know about the third game. I think I could have won the first and second game. Third game, I'm not so sure that was winnable, just judging by how hard the, the lanes fell apart. Um, I mixed up the roles because I was getting a little frustrated with just not seeing any sort of uh, adaptability from junglers from what was happening on the map or the fact that I was playing Lucian Top and had Pryo. I think overall, um, like I said, I think I proved my point. There's definitely a lot going on in League 
and sometimes you know sometimes for whatever reason you know a play style an identity you may not it may not click well for you um it may just be team reliant in some respects um you know who knows if the first game like i get a guy playing off the the way that i set up my lane or the second game same thing if i get a guy playing off the way i set up my lanes maybe this is a different game but sometimes they don't and so you just look really dumb with a champion like lucian who has like no ability to come back when he's behind he's just fucked so yeah we stayed chill and we got through it and then the next champ what do we have here I actually didn't think Lucian would be that hard. But I noticed one of the things that I need to learn or that I that I learned by the end of this is that you just need to lead with E often. And that was something that I wasn't doing a good job of. Uh Lulu. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Yeah, that's probably gonna be hard, I bet. Well, maybe not actually. I'll be useless or I'll be useful even if I'm behind, huh? So maybe it won't be that bad. We'll be doing Lulu next after after the coaching. Um, remember, stay chill. I gotta hurry up and get to coaching now. I'm already late. And I'll see you guys in a bit.